If your fight, what? if your son is undefeated in the gym, congratulations, congratulations no. that you got no, an no. undefeated fighter in the gym. I'm not, no, I'm not. That's a, not it. I'm, I'm the no, under the light fight fighter. Floyd Mayweather lost badly to Ryan Garcia this past weekend, and after that, he went utterly crazy and attacked Bill Haney. Bill Haney didn't remain mute while the two insulted each other verbally. Look at how Floyd Mayweather also made fun of Devin during the exchange. You need some help. You need some help. Help the other motherfucking night. You need some help the other motherfucking night. You need some help with your son. Listen, listen. Your son need help tonight, nigga, not the other night. Your son. In addition to criticizing Bill Haney, rapper Saka Dunphy K.A. declared that Devin should fire his father and hire a qualified trainer. Devin Haney's father, but it might be time for Devin to pick up a new trainer so he can get extra skill set and extra alternative boxing uh, 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 strategies to use. With, with Following Devin Haney's loss, Floyd Mayweather has finally spoken out. But what did he say about Devin and Bill Haney? Stay tuned and observe what we discover in today's video. When Floyd Mayweather and Bill Haney recently went live on Instagram, things between them rapidly became heated. Money and Bill Haney had been at odds for a long time, and things worsened before Devin and Ryan Garcia's fight. In an interview conducted prior to the fight, Bill Haney attacked Mayweather, claiming that his son was greater than the boxing legend. The Mayweather era is over, man, he said. This is the Devin Haney era. Floyd has never achieved what Devin did at age 25, and no one else has. He said, listen, you guys are just afraid to say it. In another interview, Bill Haney made a bold statement about Devin forcing money into retirement. He also mentioned that he would definitely stand by his claims about Mayweather. It was the Devin Haney era then, as it is now, and I'm just as excited. He stated, punch me in the mouth if I'm lying, or pit him against Devin in the ring to prove me wrong. We Take On The World then highlighted Devin's undisputed status, stating that he has done things that Mayweather has not. In addition, he stated that he would defend the same. It was like Floyd was looking in the mirror when I told him. How long, and how I told long, him. Yeah, how long was that? It was before the Conor McGregor fight when he finally decided that he could no longer be in the boxing mm -hmm. with no real fighters. Devin is the one yeah. that stamped. Floyd Mayweather reacted right away, criticizing Bill Haney for extolling the virtues of his kid. His dad gonna rave about it. Oh, my son did this, my son did that. <laughs> um, but my, my take on it always is, there's a lot of guys that can do good. Floyd Mayweather recently had the last laugh following Devin's crushing loss to Ryan Garcia. He mocked the idea of celebrating GVI victories as if they were real competitive accomplishments and chastised Devin for keeping an undefeated record in the gym, despite losing to Ryan Garcia. The argument intensified when Mayweather suggested that Devin required more assistance than just his father's supervision and accused Bill of failing to adequately mentor Devin. Mayweather publicly voiced his displeasure and irritation, mocking the notion that being unbeaten in training is unimportant for real boxing success. This confrontation highlights the tension between Mayweather and Haney. Mayweather was vocal about his views, using the platform to highlight the differences between real competitive fights and gym training. He implied that while Devin might be skilled in controlled gym environments, his skills did not translate into winning important bouts, specifically pointing out the loss to Ryan Garcia as a significant letdown. In a different video, Hell believes that Bill Haney is unfit to be Devin's trainer and that this puts the super lightweight champion at a significant disadvantage. In addition, Floyd Mayweather talked about Devin Haney's performance against Ryan Garcia offering advice on where the fighter went wrong and, albeit subtly, sharing his opinions about Bill Haney. In the fight against Ryan Garcia, Floyd Mayweather called attention to specific technical errors in Devin Hayes' approach. He pointed out that Hayes was jabbing incorrectly, pulling his hand back in a way that Mayweather described as amateurish. Mayweather suggested that the jab be executed more compactly and efficiently, keeping the defense tight and making it more difficult for the opponent to counter. But Mayweather's remarks were primarily focused on Devin's technical flaws. In addition, he brought up Bill Haney, emphasizing how important it is for Devin to have a mentor who is knowledgeable about boxing and can help him navigate the finer points of a high-profile fight. Mayweather clarified that he is not advocating that Devin should fire his father as his coach, but rather that it is essential for Devin to have extra support, particularly when things get tight in big fights. I'm not, don't, I'm not saying remove your dad.
you got to have somebody that knows something about boxing right there with you to tell you how to handle that that crunch moment. I'm not telling them to remove you, Bill. No. Mayweather also offered more general counsel, stressing the value of surrounding oneself with the proper people and implying that hanging around with the wrong people could be detrimental. This wasn't a direct criticism of Bill Haney, but it was in light of his personal experiences and the adjustments he made that improved his career. It also speaks to the larger picture of team dynamics and the impact they can have on an athlete's performance. Devin Haney received helpful feedback from Floyd Mayweather's analysis to help him with his boxing technique and fight strategy in the future. In a video chat with Floyd Mayweather, rapper S.A. Awala took aim at Bill Haney after the fight. He praised Devin for his grit and perseverance during the fight against Garcia, highlighting his effort and the challenges he faced. However, he was critical of Bill Haney's coaching approach, suggesting that it might be time for Devin to consider a new trainer to enhance his skills and strategies. His comments suggest respect for the existing coach-athlete relationship, but also highlight the need for additional expert guidance to refine Devin's skills even further. In boxing, Walla stressed the importance of a fighter and trainer having compatible fighting styles. He felt that Bill's strategy did not fit the demands of the fight, Although Devin demonstrated great skill and intelligence, the match against Garcia required a more aggressive approach than what was planned, according to Walker. Devin's father appeared to have trained him primarily on scoring points and defensive strategies, which was insufficient to counter Garcia's more assertive and forceful style. Additionally, Walker noted that Ryan Garcia was a more formidable opponent than expected because of his improved defensive techniques, and he criticized the Haney camp for failing to modify their game plan midway through the fight, which he felt contributed to Devin's difficulties. Devin, according to Waka, needed to be more receptive to situations requiring raw aggression and less reliant on his boxing IQ. But boxing coach Robert Garcia had a unique viewpoint. He thinks Devin needs to completely restructure his training facility. I think now Bill Haney and, and Devin Haney should realize that the time has come. They need to bring... In a detailed interview, Garcia discussed his thoughts on Devin Haney's working relationship with his father, trainer Bill Haney. Although Garcia appreciated Devin's accomplishments under his father's tutelage, he advised that a new training setting might be helpful for Devin's continued development. Although Devin has excelled, Garcia noted that while competitive sports frequently require adjustments to reach new heights, Bill Haney has done a remarkable job, but the dynamic of their training may be too solitary and familiar. Garcia suggested holding a new training camp in which Devin is not the only participant. Focus might present fresh obstacles and educational chances, encouraging him to develop his abilities even more. Garcia suggested that rather than simply adding a new coach to their current team, Devin might gain more from being completely immersed in a different setting. This would put him in the company of other elite fighters, who could give him the competitive edge and resilience required at the highest levels of boxing. Garcia emphasized the importance of training in a gym with a competitive and challenging atmosphere because it can help fighters develop stronger mental and physical skills. This was evident in the fight between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. Robert Garcia emphasized the tactical areas in which Devin could have adjusted more effectively. He said that Devin was taken off guard by Ryan's surprise strength and speed with the left hook, and that Devin's failure to adjust during the fight was a crucial error. Given the fierce competition and high stakes in professional boxing, Garcia suggested that Devin hold a new training camp to help him prepare better strategies and responses to such challenges in the future. Devin Haney's recent performance against Ryan Garcia has raised legitimate concerns about whether he should bolster his training team with a high-profile trainer and a sports psychologist. This conversation isn't just about fixing technical shortcomings, but also about strengthening his mental toughness in the face of adversity. A trainer with Derek James's reputation for strategic acumen and success with elite fighters, like Haney James, could be a game-changer for him. James has a history of success with boxers like Errol Spence Jr. and Ryan Garcia, which speaks to his ability to refine a fighter's technique and strategically get them ready for big fights. James' caliber instruction could provide Haney with the tactical understanding required to win against erratic and unpredictable opponents. Strategy might entail strengthening Haney's defensive techniques, enhancing his offensive tactics, 
and strengthening his ability to adjust on the fly, qualities that were thought to be lacking in his most recent performance. Devin's most recent game also revealed a possible weakness. Adding a sports psychologist to his staff could prove invaluable, as sports psychologists specialize in improving an athlete's mental game. It implies that psychological fortitude is an area that requires emphasis under pressure. They use techniques such as visualization to increase focus, manage the psychological stress of high-stakes situations, and boost confidence. Using cognitive restructuring and anxiety management to help athletes stay calm and give their best effort in the face of adversity in a sport as mentally taxing as boxing, where a fight can be won or lost based on psychological resilience as much as physical skill. The pairing of a well-known trainer and a sports psychologist represents a holistic approach to athlete development that addresses both the mental and physical aspects of a sport. What are your thoughts on Devin firing Bill and hiring a new trainer? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for now. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate your time, and we will see you in the next video. Please turn on the bell to receive the most recent notifications so that you never miss out on videos like this one.